my kitchen today I will be making New England fish chowder with haddock so I have about a tablespoon of butter in a pan just gonna melt that and then I have five strips of bacon that I have chopped up and I'm just going to add that to the pot and brown those up. I'll be back when the bacon is done. Okay, once your bacon is done, I'm going to remove that. Drain all the grease from it, leave that in the pan, and just put your bacon on a paper towel to drain. And once you have all your bacon removed, I have one large onion chopped. I'm going to add that. And two stalks of celery. And you want to cook that until they're tender, probably three to four minutes. And just stir them every now and then. Okay, once your onions and celery are softened, I am going to add one tablespoon of black pepper. And one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of thyme, and then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of crushed red pepper in there, just a couple shakes, and mix that all together and let that Combine for about two minutes on low heat. And once that's had a chance to combine, I'm going to add one cup of chicken stock and one cup of water. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of grated carrot. chopped up three potatoes into bite-sized pieces and mix that all together and I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock you want your potatoes to be covered. So I'm at about another half a cup of chicken stock. And another half a cup of water. And we're just going to bring this up to a boil. And then when it starts to boil, reduce the heat to just a simmer. You want your potatoes to cook, but you don't want them to be too soft because they'll turn into mush. So as soon as they're just barely done, you want to turn the heat back down. I am also going to add two bay leaves. And just let that simmer. Okay, once your potatoes are just about tender, I'm going to add two pounds of cut up haddock. And I'm just going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes until the haddock is just flaky. 
Okay, while we're waiting for our fish to cook, I have one cup of clam juice. And to that, I am going to add three tablespoons of flour. And just whisk that all together until there are no lumps. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and our haddock is done. You can see it's flaky. So I'm going to add the clam juice and flour just a little bit at a time. And stir that in. And after I get this all in, I'm going to let this simmer for four to five minutes until the chowder starts to thicken. Okay, it's been about three minutes and our chowder has thickened. Now I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of half and a half. You can use heavy cream or milk or whatever you like. And we're just going to let that all combine and then it will be ready to serve. Okay, our chowder is all ready to serve. Put some in a bowl. And top it with a little parsley. And some of the bacon that we cooked earlier, just chop it up and put a little bit on top. And it's ready to serve. You could use any kind of white fish in this recipe. We just prefer haddock. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's well worth the time it takes to make this. It is so good. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.